U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken says his ninth trip to Israel since its war with Hamas began could be the most consequential. Washington correspondent Jesse Turner reports on the latest in the ceasefire negotiations. This is a decisive moment. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken says Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has accepted the latest proposal for a ceasefire and release of hostages. Probably the best, maybe the last opportunity to get the hostages home, to get a ceasefire. The next important step is for Hamas to say yes. Blinken would not speculate on whether the terror group Hamas would move forward. What's most crucial now is that everyone, everyone refrain from taking any actions that could fuel further conflict. But tensions across the Middle East continue to escalate. The latest attack hit one of Israel's biggest cities Sunday. We've witnessed a, a suspected major terror attack in Tel Aviv. Israeli President Isaac Herzog says his government is investigating a suicide bomber near a Tel Aviv synagogue. Hamas claims responsibility for it. One civilian was hurt. This is the way we are living these days. We are surrounded by terror from four corners of the earth. Herzog thanked Blinken for the ongoing U.S. support for Israel. Blinken travels next to Egypt Tuesday to continue ceasefire talks. In Washington, I'm Jesse Tenor. Well, the deal would also surge more humanitarian support into Gaza. Blinken confirmed reports of a potential polio emergence, re-emergence there and says he's hoping to have a response plan in the coming weeks.